look at look at look at Deontay Wilder. How I get down here? What happened, buddy? Look, Tyson Fury. Tyson Fury say fuck all the bullshit, man. He he moving on from Wilder, man. He gonna fight Anthony Joshua next year. Wilder is gonna be left out in the cold. Wilder is left out in the cold. And then he going he gonna he gonna have to fight somebody else. I think he gonna take some more losses. I don't think he ever gonna become a champion again. His career gonna be over. Cause more than likely he might lose his next fight. He gonna be out of title contentions and Fury is moving on. Deontay Wilder train has passed. And I blame all this shit on his dumb ass and in the LDBC, they destroy careers. The LDBC destroys careers by spreading all these lies and, and, and rumors like a little bitch talking all that bitch shit on the internet, all that gossip. Who he had, he had iron in his gloves. He had brass knuckles on. He sprayed pixie dust. In Wilder eyes, all this crazy shit. He poisoned Wilder. He put strychnine in Wilder drink, all that type of shit. He had his gloves flopping off, all that dumb shit. Fury said, fuck, it's a hassle dealing with Wilder because Wilder is childish. He hang with a whole bunch of childish as, as misfits on the fucking internet. He got a gang of misfits that follow behind him. And 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 they and they nothing but trouble because soon as you soon as Fury Fury beat them, they want to motherfucker get on the internet and start crying foul. Who want to go through all that dumb shit again, man? The LDC helped destroy this nigga career, man. This nigga was on his way using his jab, moving from the ring, got power. They derailed him. The LDBC cost this nigga hundreds of millions of dollars. He can have the belts ready to fight. Um um. Anthony Joshua or, or be in big fights. If it went for the LDBC, this nigga still have his belt. This nigga probably will still have his belt. The LDBC destroyed this nigga career and he helped them. 78, the Pied Piper of, 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 of garbage. Spreading lies and talking shit. Now, Fury Team said, fuck it, you know Bob Arum is an old shiesty lawyer. An old shiesty Jew from, from, from Brooklyn. You think he don't know how to get out of a fucking fight or out of a contract? He done seen thousands of contracts in his 80-year career in boxing, man. He been in boxing for 80 years. He done seen it all, man. He done seen it all. He done dealt with you. The first motherfucker to, dealing with Muhammad Ali. You know how long that shit was ago, man? That shit was in the motherfucking 70s and 60s and shit, man. It's 2020. 2020, man, 40, 50 years, man, this nigga been promoting, he knew how to get the fuck out of a contract, man, he knew how to get a loophole, man, Deontay Wilder is finished, man, if, if, if he gonna have to go, in order for him to get back, he gonna have to go on a tour, he gonna have to knock out everybody, he gonna have to go beating up some good boxes, man, and I don't see him doing it, man, anything is possible. Now, I ain't going to say it's impossible, but he got a long fucking road ahead of him. LDBC destroyed this kid's career, man. Be, go look at, if y'all don't believe me, go look at Deontay Wilder. Uh, in, in his sec, his first fight with Stavern, how he was going, how he was progressing. How he was progressing. Now, look at the decline from, from the time he met the ball, the ball one. By the time he met the bald one, 78, none, and all these, the band of misfits, by the time he met them, he started going in a decline. Now in his career, they done cost him hundreds of millions of dollars, man. It's, 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 it's crazy how he let a band of misfits cost him hundreds of millions of dollars. And you know who next? Devin Haney. Devin Haney is next. Devin Haney don't get enough of the misfits, man. 
need to stay away from the misfits. He don't need the misfits, man. He don't need that dirty little street gang, man. They nothing but trouble. They talk too much shit. Now look at you. What that motherfucker likes to do. Now what you going to do? Remember, remember Tupac and Juice when Special Ed was talking to that talking to the nigga Q girl. Tupac said, "Now what you going to do? Look at this. Now what you going to do?" When Special Ed pulled up on Q girl with that Audi and shit, and had the S curl in his head and shit. Special Ed, I got it made. Noise in the background, man, work, man. But the LDBC, man, how they destroyed Deontay Wilder's career, man. His career is, is in the toilet. And this nigga got three or four cavemen. He got too many cavemen in the pot. Too many cavemen is in the pot. He got Shelly Frinkelstein and he got motherfucking JDs. Too many doubles and too many cavemen is in the pot. Fuck you need four and five managers for, man. What you got, lawyers watching lawyers for you won't go broke and shit? What the fuck is going on, man? Why the fuck you need two managers? What you can't count? The fuck is going on? Why the nigga need Al Haley, Shelly Finkel, and all these wild motherfuckers need JD? Well, JD's not even a fucking boxing coach. He is a motivational speaker or something. He don't have no boxing background, man. You're gonna, you're gonna keep the motherfucking crazy ass K man with no boxing background and get rid of the motherfucker that was helping you out, man. Deontay Wild is a fucking nut, man. He's, he's, He's fucked up, man. He's bugged. That nigga bugged out, man. He, he He's wilding right now, man. He let these niggas fuck his career up, man. His career is in the fucking toilet, man.